What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here. Gonna break this one down for you. It's a really fun song. I'm actually gonna show you uh, the easy chord way with the capo, but I'm also gonna show you a bar chord way later in the video. So I'm gonna teach you two ways in one video. Uh, also, I really appreciate your support by subscribing to this new YouTube channel of mine. I'm here, I'm gonna be here, and I can't wait to be teaching you more and more and more. I've got a lot of exciting plans, so thank you so much. But let's break this one down right now. Here we go. All right, so this song's in E flat major. And uh, I'll show you the the, uh, the capo way so you can play easy chords. But at the end, I'll show you what the bar chords look like as well, because the rhythm would be the same, right? So E flat is right here on the A string, the sixth fret. So if we put a C shape right there, that could be E flat major but we need a capo on the third fret to make the open strings properly in tune with what I'm playing here. So we put the capo on the third fret, and then I play a C major chord. So what you can play, and I'll show you those bar chords at the end, like I said, but it's basically C, and it's kind of swinging, down up, up, 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 down up. Now, some of the accoutrement around it is uh, major seven. So if you took your index off, you have this chord. So you could do either one. That's the more jazzy sound. And then you have D minor, which is second fret, third fret, first fret. Check it out. Here we go back to the C to D to C. C C C C da 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 D minor. So the change is F, scoot that up a little bit, F major, however you can play it, ba -da 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 -da, F, E minor, and I F, 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 E minor, still something, F, E minor, out of G. Alright, so I'm going to do that F with a bar chord now just to show you. Whole song 
Now, if you wanted to see what that looked like without a capo, um, you'd play a bar on the sixth fret, and then ring finger would cover the eighth fret of the D, G, and B. And with the bar chords, you able to get the percussive sound easier by just relaxing your hand and you get like that. So there's going to be a more percussive element with the bar chords if you can do it. Then we just move it up a whole step to the minor shape and that would be F sharp, uh, sorry, F minor. And even better, you can play F minor 7. So it's like barred on the, um, the eighth fret and then that looks like an A minor shape. But if you take your pinky off, that's F minor 7. Right? Then you'd go to a, a bar chord E major shape. So that's A flat major to G minor. And then up to the sixth fret, E major looking bar chord. You could also play that E flat major as a major seven by putting your middle finger on the seventh fret of that G string. That's it. All right, there it was. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. If there's a lesson you'd like me to teach you, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Like this video. And also, I really appreciate you subscribing to this new YouTube channel of mine. I really appreciate that support. Uh, can't wait to see you again. So take care and we'll see you later.